This is a video clip from episode 12 of the Average Joe Lawn Care Show with Mark from the Lawn Creeps YouTube channel. So I was you mentioned earlier uh, having a, a, a holistic approach um, to the, you know, your lawn care and those types of things. And we talked about a lot of, you talked about a lot of things in that it's, um, that I think a lot of newbies can get, uh, you know, maybe lost in what is a, is there is, what is a basic way for you to kind of explain a, a, a holistic way, uh, to approach that for lawn care for your, you know, first time homeowner DIYer? A first time homeowner DIYer that wants to start pursuing a lawn and wants and, 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 and wants to do it holistically. Yep. You gotta you gotta have, you know, maybe you've got maybe that's just your belief. Maybe you're, you know, whatever. Maybe you've got pets, kids, you don't want to put a lot of toxic chemicals down. Honestly, the first thing it, I would say in terms of lawn, holistically, would be the mowing practices. I, I think that you could have I mean, it is, this is like super holistic, like minimal, minimalist. Mm -hmm. uh, you could have a decent looking lawn, you know, if you just mow right. it well, you know, and then maybe I, I've seen these weed whacker things. What are these weed whackers all about? I'm going to get a, you know, whatever I'm going to, I'm going to trim around the sidewalk. Well, wow, this looks good. Even if you've got a lawn with 30% weeds in it. And, and you do a decent job of trimming it and making it look good. It looks good from the yeah. street, man. And you can enjoy it. If it's a decent lawn that's, you know, I, I've said it before early in my videos. You got to ask yourself what you can that's live right. with. Can you live with a few weeds? Is it going to really kill you to have a weed? It probably is a lot of people because the golf course lawn thing and all of that stuff is big now. And perfection, you know, is a thing. You know, don't get mad at me, everybody. But lawn care has this kind of sterile thing to it. The tightest, the tightest um, edges, the tightest edges, the most distinct stripes. Yeah. The perfectly balled out trimmed hedges. Yeah. Maybe a few dahlias here and there for some color, but everything's pretty horticultural neatness. So, um, so, so what can you live with? Can you live with a few weeds, but have a nice landscape? Maybe you, you learn about, you know, you learn about, you know, some of the landscaping piece. You learn about some of the plants, herbaceous perennials. Mm -hmm. Put some stuff down. And you can still take care of your lawn without having to dump anything on it. So with with you, you know? saying that, uh, it reminded me of what Left Tool said earlier on in the chat that I had just didn't get to. He said, um, I got one for you, Mark and Ben. What are your ideas on bringing our worlds together, bringing the purest style together with those of us who love to over manicure a green lawn? Because that's what you were just talking about. Like, honestly, yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Although when I said I'm the only person in the universe, I'm telling you, dude. And I think that's Matt, uh, Matt, Matt, uh, dude, I'm, dude, I'm having a Matt major Martin? Yes. You know, I think he gets lambasted by, 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 by the people that I do ally myself with. Again, my love of nature, prairies, blah, blah, blah. I love that. It, 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 it's beyond my lawn care. My lawn is, I love it. I love my lawn. Okay, so this is what it is. It, they can exist. But those people have a hard time breaking the other people on the other side, the naturalists, the, the, the wildlife-friendly gardeners, the, the, the pollinator-friendly gardeners, the... You know, the, the, the hardcore, they will tell you to kill your lawn. There is no biodiversity. There is no benefit to a lawn. They will tell you that there is, you know, that there is, you know, they'll, they'll tell you to grow vegetables yeah. in your front yard. They'll, they'll tell you to turn your front yard into a prairie. And I've seen people do that. And it's awesome, dude. I love, I love it. I I just swore. I'm sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> um, I love it. It's ridiculous. There's this one girl on Instagram. She's got a weird long handle. Benjamin Voigt something, Monarch Butterfly something. She turned her front yard into a prairie in like a modern day subdivision. It's crazy. People would be like, what in the hell is that? But anyways, those people hate lawns, man. But they can both exist. If, if you could get as holistic and natural as you can by trusting those natural processes and building the soil. And more specifically, that soil food web, the, 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 the life that's in the soil, man, is key. You can do it over time. Like I said, I've been, I can't say 2003 because I was doing it passively here. 
you know, but I've been doing it in this lawn for long enough now where I have weaned off of the, the high analysis chemical fertilizers. You know, I, I don't put the, the, the killicides down anymore. And, and I've got that, that soil structure, the porosity, the ability to, to, to have air get down in that soil. So those, those free living nitrogen fixing bacteria can do their thing. So water can be held. Dude, we've got all of this snow out there. We've got, I've got 15 inches of snow. This is a beautiful type of snow melt. First and foremost, people that are bummed out about this snow that want to get out in their yards, and I am there with you, but this is the type of snow melt that is going to stay deep down in those micropores come the middle of summer. If you've got that proper soil aggregation, especially at depth, if you've got a beautiful topsoil and your soil is well aggregated deep down past that root zone, past the rhizosphere, you're holding that, that interstitial fluid down there. This beautiful snow melt is, is, is a gift. That's going to be in those little tiny pores, man, in capillary action when we need it most. Because my roots go down deep looking for that. And they've got that arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi connected to it. Not only getting those nutrients in that water deep down, but it, it's also connecting to each other. It's connecting other grass plants. There's a mycelial network going on down there. That's just the tip of the iceberg with soil biology, man. You want to talk about pH. You want to talk about mineralization. You want to talk. I said all of that. No, you're sorry. good. I, I I'm just, I, and I think everybody in the chat is, is loving this right now because even Matt is in here. He says, Matt, or, I love your passion, Mark. Uh, and then Nestor Reyes says, I like how Mark keeps it real. I, I, could, I think uh, most of us, if not all of us, could listen to you talk about this all night long just because... Uh, I told you, dude, this is going to be a three-hour <laughs> podcast tonight. Catch the Average Joe Lawn Care Show live on Friday nights at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time on the Lawn Guardian YouTube channel. It's always fun interacting with the audience in the live chat during the show, so we hope to see you there. If you couldn't catch the live show, watch it recorded on the Lawn Guardian YouTube channel or listen to the audio version of it by searching Average Joe Lawn Care Show on podcast platforms such as Spotify, Apple Podcast, and Google Podcast.